Hi, sweet friends. This is 11th Hour Prayer Warrior. You know, one thing I've seen repeated across every comment section is, I'm watching alone. No one in my real life wants to hear about the return of Jesus. No one can see it. Well, I want you to know I'm right there with you. For me, it was frustrating, annoying, and depressing, especially at first. You know, if nothing else, how awesome would it be to share in the adventure of watching for the return of our Savior with the people we love the most? Yet, I have discovered, like most of you, that my ideal of having my whole family just searching every day in the scriptures and looking for the signs and all of those things about his coming, it just really isn't going to happen. Those of us who are watching, we see it so clearly. We have a hard time understanding why, why those around us are not on board. Their dismissal of all this is in some cases a result of disbelief in end times eschatology. I have found that some just really don't believe the Bible to literally be true. Sometimes when sharing, I get a sense that spiritual pride is getting in their way and they're not able to see it or they're refusing to see it. I had one person tell me, well, the best thing to do is just live right. He will come when he comes. In the meantime, do what you're supposed to do. And I know that person does live a very godly life. You know, there is some truth in that for sure, but where's the enthusiasm for the return of the king? Where's the excitement? It just baffled me. I think God has privileged those of us who are watching. I think it's a special gift we have been given. This past year of watching has been both the most exciting and agonizing year of my life. It's overwhelming to think we have been chosen to be the ones to be alert for his return. The Annas and the Simeons, I know we won't be disappointed. But in the meantime, it's lonely, isn't it? But Psalm 68, six says, God sets the solitary in families. And he has, all of us. All of us watching alone have found an online watch family. God has provided that for us. You know, one day soon we will be together in real life in heaven. I bet there are several fun tables in heaven where all of us can swap watching stories. Our disbelieving and dismissive friends and family will see the truth then. And you know what? We'll no longer be frustrated with them or sad because our flesh will be gone. We will not even have the desire to say, I told you so. And I'm glad of that. But while we wait, be encouraged. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to lift up everyone who is watching alone. First of all, I thank you for this online family that you have provided. I thank you for the people leading us, the ones who are digging into the scriptures and looking for the signs in the heavens and in the news and just guiding all your little children through this. Lord, I thank you for the privilege of watching. Lord, I know I wouldn't trade this past year for anything. I thank you for the joy and I thank you for the agony. Lord, I pray for all of those who are watching alone. I pray that you would comfort them. I pray you would be near to them. I pray that you would let them see you in every moment of their day and let them feel your presence. Lord, if possible, I pray that for each person listening, that one person in their lives would wake up and join them as they watch for, their, for our Lord and Savior, as we watch for you to return, Father. Lord, we can't wait to see you. Come quickly, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day.